Hi guys, welcome back. I'm Eno. In today's video, we'll be looking at how to install Power OS on a VirtualBox. We'll begin by doing the download. So go to your browser and search for Power OS. And then we'll go to this link that takes us to parosec.org. And here we have uh, we have different options. So depending on what option you want to download. In our case, we'll go with the security edition. You can go with the home edition or depending on your needs. So we'll click on download, ISO. And the file is about almost five GB. So it might take a while to download depending on your internet speed. So I'll, I'll pause the video and come back once the download is complete. So it looks like the download has completed. We can now begin the installation. I'll minimize this window. I'm gonna open now VirtualBox. I'll create a new machine, virtual machine. I'm gonna call it Paro OS. I'm gonna select the, uh, I'm actually gonna skip this for now. I'm gonna select the type, Linux, and it's gonna be it's a Debian based, so. We'll go with the Debian 64B. Go click next. So the minimum memory is gonna be uh, 3 GB, depending on how much you have. As long as you stay in the green, you can extend it. So, so right now I'm looking at 2 GB, that's the minimum. I'll leave it at the minimum. Processor, I can select two, click next. Then it says create a virtual hard disk and it's already selected the 20 gb we'll say next these are the options we just selected click finish and then we'll go to the settings again under general click on advanced under share clipboard select bidirectional under drag and drop bidirectional as well go to system we've already selected the memory so we've already selected the memory for the system. Let's go to processor, we've already selected two. We'll go to display. We'll leave this, uh, the defaults here. I mean, you can extend your video card, you can increase it. Next, we'll click on storage. Under the disk here, it, right now it's empty. We wanna attach the file we just downloaded. Click on choose a disk file. Select it from whichever folder you downloaded that ISO image. So ours is in the downloads folder. So select it by double clicking on it. Now it's attached. Click OK. Now we'll right click on this, start, normal start. So it says running. We have a preview here. Right click, we'll say show. And here we have an option to try or install. We'll go with the trial and install. Click enter. So it's spinning, it's, it's like it's doing something. We'll wait for it. Okay, now we are inside the uh, Power OS. We need to do the installation. This gives you an option to try it but we want to do the actual installation. So we'll click on install Pyro. So double click on that. Next, we'll select the language. The default is American English. We'll go with that, next. Select uh, your location, next. Keyboard, uh, the default is English. I'll go with that, click next. Here it's saying erase disk. So this it's referring to the virtual disk that we just created right here. We'll select that one. So that's fine. It's the virtual disk, so we go with that. Click next. Here you give your machine a name. And then this is gonna be used for login. And now you have to So the name of the computer is, you can give it whatever name you want. And then here you need to put in a password for that user. Next, 
And you have an option to just log in without asking for a password. Since this is just a lab environment, I'll go with this one. So this is the, these are the options we just selected. Just verify your options and then install. Just install now. Now the installation process has begun and this is gonna take a, might take a while. I'll go ahead and I'll pause this one and come back once it's done with the installation. So the installation is complete, it says all done. There's an option to restart now, we wanna uncheck it because we'll, doing, we'll be doing a power off and making a few setting changes before we uh, restart it again. Click on done. And I will uh, go ahead and power off the machine. Click on menu, click on this icon right here, turn off device. Shut down. Now the machine has powered off. Before we restart it again, we'll go to settings, under storage, we'll click on the disk, click on this and say remove this from virtual drive. And then under network, make sure you select the option you want. The, the default is not. You can go with the, I'll go with the bridge adapter. Click OK. Now you can start the machine again. Now we have the login page. You can put in your password. And we are logged into the machine. And that option for install power is gone because we removed it from our the virtual disk drive. Uh, one thing you can check is your IP address. Make sure you can access the internet. You can open the terminal. And then say IP address. And make sure you have a valid IP. I have 172.16.1.100. Uh, go ahead and uh, ping. Say google.com and I'm getting successful pings. Do control C to end. And that's pretty much it. That's how you install Parrot OS on a VirtualBox, on a Windows machine. I hope this information has been useful. See you all in my next video. Thanks. Bye.